Call of Duty Vanguard. What do I say about this beta? It's very interesting to say the least, but yet very boring at the same time. I don't know what it is, but this beta is just, I don't know. It's like Modern Warfare and like Call of Duty Cold War. I don't know what they were thinking with this beta. First off, there's only three maps, so the beta gets very, very boring really quickly. And not to mention that the maps are actually very terrible for 6v6, most of them at least. Hotel Royale is actually pretty good with 6v6, but Red Star and the other map that I'm not even gonna bother pronouncing is terrible on 6v6. Yet, I barely get 12v12, which is in the beta, but I barely get it, so what's happening here? Not to mention the fact that I can't even see my enemies because I'm playing on PlayStation 4 and well, they're barely visible from like 12 meters away. Honestly, the sight and hearing is what's really killing the mood for me in this game because the footstep audio and the gun audio are very, very bad and like not worked out at all. What I mean about this is that the footstep audio, I can barely hear any footsteps at all. I mean, which is good in one aspect because you really don't need dead silence, but in other places, like on wood floors, you can actually hear it more than other places, which is why I want dead silence as a perk, but they're not gonna do that because we asked for that in Modern Warfare, and we're not gonna get in that game, we're not gonna get in this game, so yeah, that's not gonna work out. With the gun audio, I can't even hear, like, bullets coming out of my enemy's gun, like, five meters away from me, like, it sounds like they're from, like, miles away, like, it's Warzone or something like that. Honestly, I'm not too worried about this, because that's probably gonna be fixed in, like, release game, but they really need work on that soon, because I can barely hear anything. It feels like I have COVID or something, I don't know if that's even a symptom. Please tell me it's not. I really, really don't want to have COVID, guys. I don't want that. I know FOV Slider is going to come to the full game, but I really hope it does not mess with the frame rates because the frame rates are already really bad on PS4. Because if they add FOV Slider and like doesn't work at all, that's just going to be very, very disappointing because I can barely see anyone around me. Like with Cold War, it works fine. Like the frame rate is fine and FOV Slider works just fine. But this is a new engine. This is the Modern Warfare engine and they haven't added that to Warzone yet. So uh, that's going to scare me. Also, the gun balancing is pretty awful, but I know they're probably going to fix this later on in the beta. It's the SDG 44 and the MP40. Like that's the only two guns I see used in this beta. I haven't seen the Thompson at barely. Well, I mean, I have seen it, but I barely see it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's there, but barely anyone uses it. The kill streaks are back from Modern Warfare, which is pretty good, I guess. I didn't really have an issue with them in Cold War, but basically the main problem with them in this game is that they're very weak. The death machine doesn't kill anyone at all because it literally is a marshmallow cannon. You literally shoot marshmallows out of that gun. It's pathetic. I don't know about the war machine because I couldn't really get that because I'm terrible and I'm level like 10 in the beta. I played so many matches of it and I haven't seen anyone use it for good reason because I've seen gameplay of it in this game and it is a literal marshmallow cannon as well too. So are the rocket launchers. The rocket launchers are literally a Cold Wars rocket launchers, they're literal marshmallows. I really hope they don't have double kills in this game for those camo grinds, if you will, if you can even call it that. They're not even camo grinds, they're like pathetic excuses to keep this playtime running in this game. That was like the only reason why they put those camo challenges in Cold War, they were just to keep the playtime up. Like that's literally the only excuse. Sledgehammer, please make those camo challenges actually easy to do because I don't want to deal with that. Another complaint I have about this game is the graphics. I'm on PS4 mind you, but the graphics look utter aids, if you will. My god, they look like a PlayStation 3 game. I, w I was about to say PlayStation 2, but that's over-exaggerating it. I mean, just look at this. This literally looks like a PlayStation 3 game. However, whenever you go in-game, the map actually looks pretty good. It's kind of weird. Like, some parts of the game look good, some other parts look bad. I just don't understand it, but whatever. I hope it just doesn't affect Warzone whenever the update comes out for that. Speaking of other game modes, I really hope Zombies actually, like, keeps this movement and crap in that game, because it actually Actually looks it's actually pretty good it feels a little bit clunkier than mono warfare's but not by much at all like there's barely any difference but you can definitely tell that it's there the difference but not by much it's barely noticeable and may I add that the recoil in this game is out of this world it is just like kicking your gun back like a 50 like horsepower engine i don't know what i'm saying basically the gun goes up way too much when you shoot it it feels like i'm getting shot at while i'm shooting like normally i know we're used to having low recoil in other games basically cold war and modern warfare but having laser weapons in those games but 
can you guys tone it down in this game please it's really really not necessary i do find the weather effects in this game actually pretty neat they're actually really good um, improvement on the maps to make them more more unique from one another i guess it just complements the map much more now let's get on to the positives of this game the weapons actually look pretty good um i'm not really a gun expert so i don't know if they're accurate or not but um they look pretty good to me i guess i don't know <laughs> good job switchhammer i don't get why there's not a weapon inspect animation because i tried everything i don't know if it's a different button or anything but i haven't seen anyone inspect the guns so uh i guess it's not there i hope they add that later because i want to see it in its beauty the call outs from the operators are actually pretty good so um good job it's unlike cold wars where they just say like two lines and then boom they're instantly not going to say anything else the operators in this game tell you that oh i'm actually getting shot at or oh they're looking at me or something like that in cold war they don't do any of that they're just saying ah i'm hurt or something they don't say ah they're watching me in this game they do which is pretty good it's actually a good call out that you don't have to see in your mic wait speaking of call outs i just realized high alert does not work in this game i've used it for the past couple of games and it does not work i barely see the yellow like crap on my screen where it indicates where they're looking at me that i can't see basically a high alert like shows you where they're looking at you if you can't see them if that makes any sense if you used it you know but um please fix that sledgehammer because i it does not work at all for me i like the addition of uh where it shows you where your grenade's gonna go whenever you're like holding out your grenade because that's actually pretty neat like you don't have to guess where it's gonna go it just shows you the trajectory of the grenade where it's gonna go it also works for stun grenades as well things i would like to see whenever this game comes out like when it's fully released the gunfight maps are actually face-off maps, like from Cold War, but they're actually 6v6 as well. So that'd actually be pretty neat. It'd actually make more short lane maps for people who like them, like me. I like short maps, like Nuketown and crap like that. An actual good master camo, unlike World War II's chrome camo, that's like pathetic in that game. Like, compared to Dark Matter. A 24-7 playlist, sort of like Nuketown 24-7. Like, say, maybe Castle 24-7, because we need, like, um, good maps to play, like, all the time. Or Dome 24-7, because we really need short maps to do, like, our camo challenges much more easier, because that's what was a good thing about Nuketown, because you could do your camo challenges really, really easily on that map, because it was such a short map that you could do them. They're fast-paced, basically, like, fast games, so you're like... Get your camos quicker. I really hope the next week of the beta is pretty good. I really do. Um, I really hope they fix some of these issues. Uh, maybe even this beta week, uh, they can fix them. I really hope they do. And yeah, so Chamber, I really hope uh, this year goes great for you guys. Honestly, I'm excited for zombies. I'm excited for campaign. I'm a little worried about multiplayer. Please do not do what Modern Warfare did. Please just don't do what they did. I know you guys are going to go on that path, but please just don't. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. I really hope you guys are enjoying the beta as well, but uh, sorry for rambling on about this crap. I just want to get my opinion out there and a little bit of feedback. If anyone's watching this, probably not. Definitely not, yeah. I, this video was a waste of time, but still, that's my opinions on the beta, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed.